so what is up everybody uh welcome back to another video uh this video we're gonna cover the um there's a there was an update and i had no idea about it there was an update on the uh the rg350 um the firmware the custom firmware the atoms image it was an update and i had no idea and i just found out about it not too long ago and i updated it so we're just gonna cover the update uh to show you guys that it, it's, it's it's exactly the same it's nothing really different it's just you know Updated. That's all. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, so the user user interface is pretty much the same. Um, nothing changed about it. I mean, you could still change the the theme to whatever you you want to put it to. It's still the same themes and unchanged. Um, screen time. Oh, which one I had? Uh, it was this one, right? Big Cody. Um. Tidy ROM names enabled. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, let's go back. Uh, apps and games. Pretty much the same thing. Applications. And you got your commander here when you go into your files and stuff like that. Clock. DCW connect. I think that was for the uh, HDMI, I think. Or, or the, um, yeah. I can't remember what that was for. Uh, GMU, the password. By, uh, Pi Packup. Pi Backup. Pipe back up. RG350 test. To test your buttons and map the buttons and stuff. Simple menu. To get back into simple menu in case it go it gets out of it. Your sound mixer, system info, terminal, USB mode, and stuff like that. It's all the same, pretty much. You got your arcades, consoles, handhelds, home computers, which is the homebrew games, I think. No, no, no. This was the homebrew games, the native games. Yeah. And this was the. Okay, here we go. This, this is the PC games. So, oh, I think I'm a little lopsided there. Crap, my bad. <laughs> okay, and handhelds. All right, let's go to the consoles. Okay, check this out. I have uh, 329 games available, it says there, <laughs> but that's not really true. I have like, uh, probably like uh, nearly like maybe 80 PlayStation games, I think, or 75 or something like that. But if it comes out like that, because look at this, look at all this. I actually have to save the bin file in there because some of the games in here are only bin file. That's the thing that some people are not telling you. Like in a retro game course when he tells you to just um, take out the uh, the dot bin, right, in your files. So that way you could just have uh, one picture art and stuff like that, one title. But for me, that's not really the case because some of the games I have in here is literally only a bin file. And I'm like, oh, crap. When I did that, when I took out the bit dot .bin, the bin files weren't there. Uh, the games weren't there. So like, uh, which game was it? Let me show you for an example. The game, I think it was down here. Up here. Uh, look at this. Look at this. These are all tracks, by the way. When it's that many, it's usually tracks in the game, like the music. And they separate the tracks. Uh, Animaniacs, that wasn't there. Because, see, it's only one of it because it was the bin file. Uh, I hope you can see it clear. Um, okay, which one? Uh, which? Uh, yep, Assault Rigs wasn't there. Uh, Batman Forever wasn't there. Beyblade wasn't there. Blade wasn't there. Bloody Roar wasn't there. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, I think this was there. I don't remember. Capcom vs. SNK. I think that was in there already. Uh, the Crash Team Racing wasn't there. I was like, oh crap, man. I love playing that game. And it disappears when I take out the dot bin. Stuff like that, so, uh, oh yeah, this one too. Where is it? Marvel Superheroes. It doesn't even have picture art, because I, I forgot to do the picture art for the games that, that I added in here. Um, but yeah, still the same thing. Nintendo System Play, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, Sega CD, or just Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Genesis 32X, Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, Neo Geo, and the PC Engine. So the same for the handhelds too. Uh, you got the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear, Atari Lynx, Neo Geo Pocket, Wanda Swan, Pokemon Mini, and that's it. The home computers, it's PC games and stuff like that. Uh, the arcades, still the same. Ca uh, Capcom Play System and the Final Burn Alpha. So uh, yeah, let's go test some games out. We got game. All right. Pretty loud, isn't it? Slow that down a little bit. Insert coins. Select. 
Select, 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 Oh, oh. Hey, 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 no. Hey, I said no. Get. No, no. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, crap. I jumped right into that. I'm not familiar with her moves, though. I mean, her super moves or whatever. Oh, okay. There's one. Oh, there's one. Ooh, all right. And why was it crooked? Come on. Wow. Crap. Oh, crap. Oh, n oh dang. Okay. Okay, we're getting out of this. We're gonna do some Marvel superheroes. I had to do the boot logo. It's classic. Yeah. Got some stuff on my screen. No. Is that a dead pixel there? Uh oh. That's not cool. I think it's right there. It might be dust, I hope. <laughs> oh, that screen is beautiful. Wolverine, of course. Next is a... Uh... Oh, I can't flick too, that's right. Is that okay? Keep it down this way. Now on this camera though, the screen looks like crap. But in person it is so crisp and clear. It's beautiful. I love the screen. You know, this is the OG RT350. It's still an amazing system. Especially with this uh, custom firmware. And more updated one. It performs just about the same. It's just, it's just better. A little better, I think. Nice. There we go. Back up. Back up. Too close. You're too close, man. I noticed this game is a little easier than Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, this game is definitely a little easier. <laughs> the characters don't actually fight back as much as uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay, let's get out of this. Get out of that. Hit the camera. Oh, my back! <clears throat> okay. Get back up there. Get up there. Come on, you little midget. Hey. hey. Really? There we go. Whoa. Crap. I jumped too soon. Oh. Hey. 
You dookie brain. Okay, next. Okay, so now this is using retro arc again. So you just back out once and then quit retro arc. It's usually everybody's favorite too. Sega. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Yep. So everything's performing well. I mean, there's, there's really no frame skipping. Nothing like that at all. The update, the updated firmware is pretty much the same. And uh, I guess it might, might have just fixed a few bugs or something like that. That's probably it. Um, by the way, it's, did I mention what version it is? It's the 2.0, right? I hope I mentioned the version. <laughs> so to get it, oh, you just have to go to, I'll, I'll leave a link in the, script, in the description. You just go to the Retro Game Corps and then you just look for the update on the same page as the, uh, the Animage firmware. Once, quit retro arc. <clears throat> oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's a new game. I already have a uh, load state. Where? Hey, I thought I had one already. I guess no game. I thought I had a save file. Probably didn't. <laughs> oh crap, I, I forgot to speed it up again. Yes, 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 yes. Professor. Professor! <laughs> I remember doing this as a kid. Just constant boom 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 boom. A A A A A like hurry up. And Terry, Tom, Tom and Jerry. Uh, new name. Let's go with E D D. I E. No, it's boogie boogie. Yes, starts in the back of a moving truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Open door. Hi, hey, Mama. How's it going, Mama? Yeah. Supposed to set the clock upstairs. Uh, what time is it over here? I don't know. Whatever, we're just gonna say it's the AM. So I'm not gonna save this, anyways. <laughs> Daddy's on TV. (laughs) 
Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right. Look how smooth that is. Nice and smooth. No frame skipping, nothing. Game Boy Advance is still superb on this. On this uh, Atom image. And it's the updated version, so it'll work better. Alright, let's get out of here. Back once. Quit retro art. Well, that's pretty much it. We're gonna stop there. I wanna do an extremely long video. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it, folks. Uh, I just wanted to give you the update on uh, the latest version of the Atom Image custom firmware for the RG350 280M, uh, 280V, um, 350P, 350M, and the, I think it was the Pocket Go. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it's uh, performing well still. It's still great. It's still the best firmware uh, for this system. And, uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. Meow.